Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my winter TBR. These are books that I'm really excited to be reading this winter and like Christmas holiday season. So we're just going to go ahead and hop into the first one. I have a variety of all things that kind of fall into the mystery and thriller genre. So I have some classic mysteries, I have cozy mysteries, I have thrillers. We are going to touch over all of it basically. So let's go and hop into our first one. So our first one is probably one of the most classic like wintry mysteries and probably one of the most famous ones out there and that is Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. So I'm really excited about this one because basically there's a bunch of strangers on a train and they get stopped on the train in the middle of nowhere because of a winter storm that hits. So we have the perfect atmosphere for this time of year. I do think I might have accidentally gotten a spoiler for this. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see, but either way, I really want to enjoy this book, and it's just one of her most renowned works, and Agatha Christie is someone who I just love her writing. However, I have not yet read a full-length Hercule Poirot novel, so I've read some of the short stories with Hercule Poirot, and I've read a lot of Miss Marple and standalones, but I haven't read any of the Hercule Poirot, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it, and let's just do it right with one of the biggest and most popular Agatha Christie's. So this one I'm super excited. I guess Hercule Pro is on the Orient Express and he finds a passenger dead in a compartment. They are stabbed multiple times and the door is locked from the inside. They're stuck on the tracks because of the storm and Hercule Pro is on the case trying to interview people on the train. I've heard this is just such a good one. I love this cover. I think it's very stormy and very beautiful and I can't wait to read this. I'm very excited. So this next one is a retelling of one of my all-time favorite classic novels, and that is the classic novel Little Woman, and this is called Marmy, a Novel of Little Woman by Sarah Miller, and I just randomly saw this in the new section on my library. So I'm very excited for this because I love Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. It's one of my all-time favorite classics. It's so heartwarming. It's got the perfect Christmas and wintry and autumn vibes. So this is the perfect book for this time of year. And this is basically supposed to retell the story of Little Women, but from Marmy's point of view, which is the mother of the four little women that the original book is centered around. And I'm very excited for this. They're supposed to kind of flesh out her backstory more. or supposed to kind of learn about the Marmy's family's financial downfall that kind of leads them to where we see them in Little Women where they're kind of you know down on their luck they have like a nice place they're living in and their family came from money but they are struggling financially and this book is supposed to kind of give a backstory and even I think imply that Marmy maybe caused the financial downfall in some way so she's harboring a lot of guilt over that I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work but it's supposed to be really sentimental and I mean, just look at this cover. This isn't the perfect, like, winter cozy read. I don't know what would be. It looks so incredibly good. I've never read anything by Sarah Miller. If you have, let me know. This one I just picked up on a whim because I love Little Woman and anything. I, I personally think retellings can be really fun. So this looked really, really interesting. Is this font not... That's so beautiful. I absolutely love this font here and it's supposed to have the most like lyrical beautiful descriptions of like the countryside and the weather and everything so this is just going to be the perfect cozy book with some hot chocolate i can't wait so that is the next book on my list so the next book i'm checking out for my library i don't have it yet but i have it on hold it's called the winter people this is written by jennifer mcmahon and i love the cover here beautiful winter title and cover perfect for this time of year and basically this involves a couple of women who move to this like Vermont remote estate. So this novel is clearly very winter themed with the title and the cover right here and it takes place in West Hall, Vermont which has had a lot of strange happenings over the years and basically in present times it follows both a historical timeline and a present day timeline and our main character Ruthie and her mother and younger sister Fawn live in this really remote off-the-grid place in West Hall, Vermont because her mother has always insisted upon living off the grid which up until now has worked okay for them until one day Ruthie wakes up and her mother is nowhere to be found so she starts to search the house and as she does, she finds a diary from someone who actually lived there in the early 1900s and disappeared herself. The diary that she finds belongs to a woman named Sarah who was actually found dead in the fields behind the house. And so as Ruthie continues digging through things in the house and trying to find her mother, she discovers that she might have to solve the mystery both in the past and the presence of what has happened with her mother to save her mother. So this sounded really interesting. I've never, I hadn't heard about it on booktube or I haven't heard of this author before, but just 
the title and the, the thematic elements of this sounded perfect for a winter TBR pick and I'm really excited for this one. Another one that I have on hold at my library that I'm still kind of impatiently waiting for is Blackmail on the Binka by Mia P. Manansala. This is part of the Tita Rossi's Kitchen Mystery series. It's book three in the series. It just came out in October and I've had it, I've been on the wait list the whole time. I'm so excited for it. Basically our main character Leela is part of a Filipino-American family. There's a lot of family-centric plot lines and storylines in this which I really like. It's a great cozy mystery series. I've loved book two and one. They were both five star reads for me. But this one involves her cousin Ronnie coming back home for the first time in a while and her aunt is so excited that he's back but unfortunately Leela isn't as excited because Ronnie always brings trouble wherever he goes. So he soon gets into trouble and is accused of a murder and so to help her aunt out and to defend her family's name Leila is on the case trying to figure out what exactly has actually happened and maybe trying to turn around and show some of that Christmas spirit to her cousin even though he hasn't done the same to her. So this one sounds really amazing. I loved book one and two in the series. I know that as soon as I get my hands on this I'll be dropping everything and reading it basically. So I'm very excited for this. It does take place during the Christmas season so it's a perfect wintry holiday mix and I can't wait. The next one I'm going to talk about today is Miss Pinkerton by Mary Roberts Reinhardt. This is a classic mystery. I have not read Mary Roberts Reinhardt before. I've had a few of you tell me that you love her just as much if not more than Agatha Christie which is really high praise in my opinion so I can't wait. And this has been on my 2020 22 like TBR for the whole year so I just I need to get to this and I feel like mysteries are just always perfect for this time of year really but basically this follows our main character Miss Adams and she is a nurse she's not a detective by any means however she gets kind of pulled into a mystery when a local man commits suicide but it's very suspicious and the police don't believe it was actually suicide so they kind of enlist her to be their eyes and ears on the premises and to just kind of collect clues and she's basically going to be taking care of the man the the dead man's like aunt and the, she's like the only viable suspect who was in the house at the time of her nephew's suicide however she is bedridden so it seems very unlikely that she was able to shoot him and you know get his body into another room and everything because of her health so miss adams who is dubbed miss pinkerton after the famous detective agency by the police is going to be the nurse to the aunt and try to pick up clues and figure out what actually happened so i've really been excited for this i got it last christmas or for my birthday i want to say in like march so I've had it for a while and I've been really excited for this but I've had so many books on my plate that I keep putting it off but this is it this is the time I'm going to get to it I can't wait so the next one I'm really excited for is called Word to the Wise by Jen McKinley it's part of the Library Lovers Mystery series it's book 10 in the series and this one is actually Christmas themed and it lined up perfectly where I just read book 9 so I'm reading them in order and it happened to be that the next one was the Christmas themed one which felt like a little Christmas present in itself. So basically our main character in this is Lindsay Norris and she is a library director at Briar Creek Library. It's set in like a northeast town with like the perfect, you know, water and like ocean and like cold snowy weather and everything so I know it's going to have a very atmospheric setting which I'm excited for and Lindsay our main character has recently become engaged and she's so excited she's celebrating you know she's looking forward to the future however this new man in town has recently moved there and he just keeps harassing her and really like you know, trying to ask her out he's very forward she keeps turning him down and he's harassing her to the, a pretty big extent and it's really irritating the other their library staff and her friends and her fiance of course and unfortunately this man is found dead and it actually looks like it's set up to frame her fiance and so Lindsay quickly jumps in the case to clear her fiance's name and to solve the mystery before Christmas hits. How beautiful is this cover? Th this cover it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait. If you have not read the Library Lovers Mystery Series in general and you like cozy mysteries, especially bookish ones, it's excellent. Highly recommend it. I cannot wait to read this Christmas themed one. That, that just makes it even better, in my opinion. I can't wait. Next one is one that kind of got delayed. It was supposed to be on an autumn TBR, but I didn't get it in time from the library. However, I feel like it'll still fit this time of year, and it's kind of supernatural, and I feel like I'm still in a witchy mood, you know, for this time of year. And this is called Steep to Death by Gretchen Rue, and it's a witch's brew mystery which I'm really excited for. It's the first mystery in the series. Basically, our main character is Phoebe Winchester, and her beloved Aunt Eudora 
has a taste for adventure, is rumored to be a witch, and likes the magical arts. So we have our supernatural element there. And unfortunately, her Aunt Eudora passes away, but she leaves Phoebe everything. Her Victorian mansion, her bookshop slash tea shop, and her fat orange tabby cat. I believe he's right here, Bob. So... <laughs> Phoebe is a little overwhelmed at the moment and things quickly go from overwhelming to worse when she finds a body on the back steps of the tea shop, bookshop store that they have. And immediately suspicion is thrown on her, suspicion is thrown on a couple other people and so Phoebe jumps on the case trying to figure out what has happened, trying to clear her name, her aunt's name and reputation. And also she, as she goes along she learns more about her aunt's past and her magical abilities and Phoebe discovers that she may also have some magical abilities of her own. So I'm very excited for this. I love tea. It is such a cozy beverage. I can't personally drink coffee, too much caffeine, but I love tea and that's just perfect winter beverage in my opinion and I love this. I love how the tea cup is floating magically and the cat's just kind of staring at it. So I cannot wait. It says here by Laura Childs, a quote, a clever tea mystery filled with warmth and whimsy, which sounds just like what the doctor ordered for winter, in my opinion. And so our last one is a thriller, but it has a very cozy, deceiving cover. So it's kind of interesting, because thrillers usually have kind of gloomy, intense looking covers. But from what I'm told, this is a thriller. It's definitely not cozy, so just in case you prefer cozies, keep that in mind. This one is called Bellwether Rhapsody, and basically it takes place on the premises of this old giant hotel, and everyone is trapped in by the weather, so we have like a closed door mystery. And this hotel is the site of an infamous murder-suicide that occurred like 15 years ago. However, another crime is committed, and it quickly stirs up trouble for the guests that are on the site, including this bridesmaid who is there, who actually witnessed the original crime. So it sounds like this thriller is following the the different people who are trapped within the hotel and trying to figure out who is you know hurt, hurting people or is it connected to this crime that happened 15 years ago I'm very excited I think the cover is kind of interesting I will let you know in my reading wrap-up if it's as dark as I think it's going to be because it sounded like it would be a pretty intense thriller but it's pretty cozy looking at the same time so we'll see I'll give you an update on that but let me know if you've read it or any of these I'm really excited for this one the last one I want to read some of is The Treasured Stories of Christmas, edited by Sarah Ann Stewart. This includes a giant collection of like classic Christmas short stories, poetry, or also like excerpts from big novels that are like the Christmas chapters. So it includes parts of like Little Woman from Louis M. A. Alcott, you have The Christmas Carol from Charles Dickens, a bunch of other things, and I always like to read The Christmas Carol around this time of year, as well as the excerpts from Little Woman that are set in the Christmas times because it's just so heartwarming. So I would love to read more of this. There's some short stories in here that I've never heard of, like The Rescue by Cleveland Amori. And so I'm, I'm just really excited. I haven't read this. I actually found this in a little free library and I'm really excited for this. It's a really cute book and as you can see here there are a ton of different people that it has different short stories and excerpts from all that are different Christmas stories. So I thought this would be a fun one. Maybe I'll try to read like a short story a night leading up to the holidays. We'll see. But anyways, that is my winter and holiday TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed and this gave you some inspiration for your own reading this time of year. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books, what your thoughts were on them, and what you are planning on reading this season. I'd love to hear what you guys are reading. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I do upload new mystery content. Well, book content in general, but especially in the mystery, thriller, and historical fiction genres if you like those. My name is Amy Murray, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.